Someone online notes that their cat was rescued a day before scheduled euthanasia. The octopus secretes its ink with its eye closed, Pan Levy's subtitle tells us. Its eye, when opened, resembles the human eye. Matt, on my birthday you made me a mix and titled it Marie B. Never Grow Old. Then whispered in my ear that I could, of course, grow old, and I wondered if you'd originally titled it Marie B. Never Die, but had found that too morose. And now I'll address the universe again. Please record us many times over. Document us like the octopus. Let the cats measure our breaths while we sleep. Let us bleed a smudgy ink from our crotches and let our spindly bodies slip together an octopus-like over the skulls of others. Let these material traces be haunted by our consciousnesses. Let the self live fully in them. And the poem can oscillate between prayer and love letter. Try it. I catalog the Lord. I speak to the cat. Hello, Radish. Let me address you, Matt. The cursor jumps on the page. Here we are together, leaping from the bounds of the book like little clay characters. There is nothing I love more than someone accidentally exiting the frame and entering real life. When I begin to fall asleep during a movie, you tell me, I make strange little grabbing motions with my hand so that I'm suddenly gripping your leg or your hand in little pulses. And then you know that I've missed some of the movie. I've slipped from the film to the couch to the dream world, gripping the objects in the film, but with my hand along your body, opening and closing in real life, substituting in my own objects. So that we're both flickering from world to world. The real world is the skull and the seafloor and us gliding over it. <laughs>